اعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العرش العظيم الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هدانا الله سلام عليكم ايفريون اي هوب يو ار ويل ان شاء الله يور فاميليز ار ويل سيف ان شاء الله كونغراتيوليشنز اون ذا اسبيشس بيرث انيفرساري اوف اور بيلوفد فاطمه الزهراء سلام عليها Uh, the daughter of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is not really a formal speech. Um, I don't want you to think that uh, I am able to give a speech about Khanum uh, Fatima to Zahra Sallam Alaiha. It's just um, uh, that, you know, it, w- it was a late notice um, and um, I, it, something happened in our um, Quran session this past Tuesday. Um, we were working on some verses in Surah Al-Asra and um, something clicked in, the, in those ayat uh, and it reminded me of uh, Bibi Fatima Salam Alaiha and um, that's all I want to share with you. It's not a formal speech, it's not a, uh, any, nothing is worthy of her grace uh, but it's just, it enlightened my heart as uh, far as uh, their quality of life and their, uh, the way they lived and walked this earth. And that's all I want to share with you tonight. It's going to be very quick. Um, and I hope I can, um, inshallah, um, relay the message from my heart to you, inshallah. Um, so we were, like I said, in our Quran session, we're working on Surah Al-Asra. Once we reach the Uh, ending of uh, ayah number 100, um, uh, I shared with class something. Um, In that particular um, surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the ending of that ayah, Allah says, مَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ قَتْهُرَ So whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to um, talk about a person who who has not had that Qur'anic education, um, and um, not so much the education of the Quran, but has not tra- has not allowed that transformation um, of that education into their lives and into their character. Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala refers to them as insan. So, uh, whenever He wants to point out the nature of a human being, um, of an insan that has not had the Quranic education, but has the potential to better themselves. He refers to them by insan, as he does here in this ayah. He says, وَكَانَ insanu qatura," which means that uh, through nature, man or mankind, uh, not necessarily man, but mankind, is qatur, is stingy. Um, then this it clicked right there in class, and I remembered uh, Lady Fatima Salam Alaiha and her family in Surah Al Halata, um, as mentioned, as Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala talks about them in in Surah Al in Surah. And it's actually, the other name for this Surah is Ansan, um, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala talks about this family, uh, commends them for their deeds. Inshallah, I want to share that with you. So Hasanain. Uh, Imam Hussein Ali, Imam Hassan Ali Musalam and Imam Hussein Ali Musalam, they get sick, um, and their parents, Imam Ali Ali Musalam and Lady Fatima Salam Aleha, um, take a vow to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala uh, that if they get better, we will fast for three days. It's been said that the Hassanain, Imam Hassan Ali Musalam and Imam Hussein Ali Musalam, also make the same vow. So Alhamdulillah, they get well and they start their fast. But um, right at iftar, um, a hungry person shows up at the door and they end up giving away their ta'am, their meal, their food that they were planning to break their fast with. Not only on one night, but on every three nights. One night, a needy uh, person comes to the door the second night, a, um, a, a um, yatim um, 
a um, orphan comes to the door and on the third night a captive comes to the door and they give away all of their foods um, now as parents I can see myself do that but um, I cannot I'm not there yet to give away um, what I planned for my children to eat and if that was the only thing we had in the house um, to also give that away but this family gives away all of their foods all three days and only breaks their uh, if uh, their fast with water so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends the surah um, known as insan or hal ata and commends them for um, their beautiful deed now in the fifth ayah uh, or fifth verse of the surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to them and refers to any good doer as abrar abrar is the plural sense for bar and um, it means in essence it means um, extensiveness you know like something uh, wide that takes um, it has a broad like a, you know in medicine we call um, uh, antibiotics when we want to cover a large area we call them wide spectrum so um, this when something is broad takes something in a vast uh, um, area affects something in a vast area it's called in the holy Quran and this word means bar plural of this bar means abrar but the holy Quran or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as this matter calls a good doer as also a bad why because um, their deed uh, has far-reaching effects on the society and also because there's great rewards great um, blessings ahead of them great blessings await them um, meaning that in heaven inshallah they will be able to benefit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's great great blessings and abundantly um, so in ayat 7 through 10 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discusses their entitlement to these divine blessings due to five qualities that they had um, now I'm not going to go over those um, uh, those five with you. you you're more than welcome to look them up if you like um, but my focal point though I'm going to focus only on one quality that they had and that was their uh, benevolence their their act of mercy um, that was um, one of the reasons that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls them as bar um, this is ayah number five in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the good doers drink from this cup um, that that has a beautiful fragrant uh, drink in it uh, it's beautifully fragrance um, but anyway abrar is that bar is this and the reason that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls a good doer uh, a bar is because they're um, the impact of their deed is far-reaching in the society and also because they have great things to look forward to in heavens inshallah when they go there they have they can take benefit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's great blessings um, so our focus focal point is um, their act of mercy their benevolence not only are they not greedy and this is the reason I remember them when we were going through Surah Al-Asra wa Kana Al-Insana Qatura Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says insan um, before a divine training before Quranic education before implying what they've learned into their uh, what that education into their lives and they have this tendency to be greedy they have this tendency to be stingy um, but here we see that this family not only are they not greedy or not only are they not stingy but look at the quality of their infaq look at the quality of this um, their benevolence when they give ta'am um, um, when they give to the needy when they give to the poor or the orphan or the captive this is what they utter to them 
um, they said that, that innama not emukon levachallah. Indeed, we we give to you um, only we give for the countenance of Allah subhanahu wa taala. La nuridu minkum jaza an wala shukura. We don't expect, we don't wish any reward or any gratitude from you. Um, so to them, they refuse any acknowledgement, any public acknowledgement um, of their deeds. Um, although they did, they, you know, I mean, it was beyond count, um, beyond um, what we can acknowledge even to give away not only your food, your husband's meal, you know, we, um, um, you know, I remember this saying in Farsi that uh, what is rada for the house is haram for the masjid or something so, something like that, that is totally opposite of this family, actually. And I don't know if I said that saying correctly, but um, it means that uh, what you can use for the house, what is needed for the house is not really um, halal to be given away to the masjid. But, but this is this is opposite of what we see um, in the, you know, in the um, pattern of uh, the life or the pattern of their infaq, their benevolence, their mercy of this great family. Um, and so they, the, the reason that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands their deed, the reason that their deed of infaq is so highly valued is um, in my little opinion is because of two reasons. One, they have the right intention, they have the right niyyah. Innama nut'imukum, why? Levachallah. The, 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 the only reason that triggers us, that uh, promotes us, that pushes us to do this deed is because we want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is for countenance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La nuridu minkum jazam. It's we we don't wish any you don't even need to thank us you can you know we we're not in other words we're not dealing with you um we're dealing with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and number two um they're they're they give selflessly you know, even though they were in need of it uh, uh, uh i remember this ayawala or something like that i don't remember exactly where my brain is picking, which eye my brain is picking up right now. But, um, you know, the, 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 the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, says, ala uh, points this, this, this mark that I want to say, that even though they were extremely hungry, you know, they were fasting for three days, but even on the third day, they gave their ta'am away to um, a captive. Even though they were in need of their own food, even though they were extremely hungry, they still gave it away. So even though, um, and this didn't, like I said, didn't happen on one occasion. It didn't happen on one day. Um, um, it happened three days in a row on three different occasions. Um, so my conclusion, and I'm right at 15 minutes, uh, hopefully very soon, is that man, mankind, through nature is qatur, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, is um, greedy, is stingy, but through Quranic education and by implying that knowledge in, you know, bringing that knowledge into action, you know, linking that knowledge into my everyday life, into action, into bringing it into my life, into my daily routine, has the chance to better himself, has the chance to become generous, has the chance to change his nature from stinginess to that that can give selflessly with great generosity. This is Quran in action. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzata amma yasifun. I hope and pray that the light of Fatimi enlightens our hearts and our lives and our deeds, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow us the blessings that he bestows on Abrar. 
سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلامنا للمرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين التماس الدعاء and congratulations again on the auspicious birth of Lady Fatima سلام عليها يا علي خدا حافظ